Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel, Study OT with Sophie. This week's topic is on refractive errors and low vision. The first vision of refractive error is hyperopia. People with hyperopia can see from far but not near. They usually have a impaired near vision. And you could see this in a picture of a guy sitting in a car driving. He can't see the wheel. His hand is blurry. But from far, he could see everything really clear. See the before and after picture here. The eyeball is abnormally short as measured from front to back. Another refractive error is presbyopia, which is also farsighted, progressively or gradually, with the loss of muscle and lens elasticity. This usually occurs with someone who is 40 years and over. Lastly, inability to focus on eye lens or refocus quickly to accommodate variations in distance. Myopia is someone with nearsightedness. Objects that are near are seen clearly. However, objects that are far are seen blurry. Image cannot be seen or the sharpness is really, really blurry. So in this picture, you see this beautiful garden with a statue and a beautiful um, resort that's clear. The second one, you see everything really close or to the front of the resort, you can't really see it so clearly. Now, the eyeball is abnormally long. There's a hint here, M, N. They're really close in the alphabet. So remember, M, N, myopia. My, I'm able to see clearly from my point of view or my area, but I cannot see from far. Astigmatism. Front of the cornea may be more egg-shaped than spherical. Some images appear clearly defined, whereas others appear blurred. The symptoms of astigmatism is blurred vision, sensitivity to light, eye discomfort, such as eye strain and fatigue. Lastly, headache. Your vision is affected when you're driving at night because everything seems blurry, squinting, and objects seem a little out of focus. And you feel like you're putting eye strain, which causes headaches. So when you drive at night, it's best to wear glasses or go to your optometrist or ophthalmologist to get tested for the proper eyewear. Nystagmus, involuntary repetitive arrhythmic movements of one or both eyes. Movements can be horizontal, vertical, circular, or a combination of all of these. You'll mostly see jerky movements in someone with brain tumors and cerebral vascular lesions. Alcohol use and abuse of certain drugs caused by this. Here's a picture to show you what nystagmus looks like. Strabismus is a visual deficit of misalignment, failure of the eyes to look in the same direction, simultaneously weakness in the nerves stimulating the muscles controlling the position of the eyes usually someone with this kind of eye um, condition has cross-eyed or diplopia ptosis is a permanent drooping of the upper eyelid it can be caused in people with several diseases, such as muscular dystrophy and mastian gravis. Cataract is a central vision loss. Natural lens becomes cloudy. Decreased visual acuity. 
primary symptom is the deterioration of vision in the affected eye, poor night vision, yellowing or fading of coloring. So you see here, I have the red colors as a hint to remember cataract is under central vision loss and it has cloudiness. Macular degeneration is a central vision loss, a progressive degeneration of the macula of the retina. In most cases, both eyes are affected either at the same time or one right after the other. Reading and activities that require sharp vision become impossible. Central vision may disappear altogether. Change in visual acuity or loss of sharpness in central vision. You see a picture of a monkey. First one is really clear. Second one is the early stage of macular degeneration. And there's a picture here, completely central vision loss, which is the late stage of macular degeneration. Glaucoma, it gradually loses peripheral vision over time. Glaucoma is common in patients with 60 years of age and over. It can also occur at any age. Damage to the optic nerve caused by elevated intra ocular pressure. Major cause of blindness. If it does progress, central vision may be lost, causing complete blindness. Now, there's a picture that you can see here, a circle with tunnel vision written and two arrows and two chairs. So imagine someone who is standing face forward, not turn to the right or left, are they able to see the chair on the right side or left side of their vision? No, because the peripheral vision is damaged. Tunnel vision means that you only see as if you're in a tunnel, but you can't see on the sides. Imagine that you're someone who is looking at your computer and you don't see a speaker or a cell phone on the right side of your desk. Diabetic retinopathy is a disorder of retinal blood vessels, occurs in both eyes, affecting the sharpness and clarity of vision. Homonymous hemianopsia is a loss of half visual field in each eye, produces an inability to receive information from right to left side corresponds to side of sensory motor deficit. This is CVA related. As you can see here in the picture, um, someone who has hemianopsia has difficulty seeing on the right side or the left side because they have a partial visual field. Um, so the cane is on the right side, can't see, then we ask him to, you know, visually scan the room. The patient visually scans the room and he sees his cane on the right side of the room. He takes the cane and uses it for walking. OT does not address or assess visual acuity. Only optometrists or ophthalmologists address them. We do assist or help people with visual acuity in their ADLs, BADLs, and everything that is meaningful or purposeful to them. I want to thank you all for watching my video. Please like, share, and comment, and join my Instagram page. This is the reference page. Thank you.